Cap fucking Williams. Now let me tell you something. I've interviewed on here because of COVID and I started the big, big show. I've interviewed Dr. Fauci. I've interviewed Hakeem Jeffries. I've interviewed Floyd Mayweather, Mike Tyson. I've interviewed Lotto, uh, Sweetie, uh, whoever the fuck. Lala, Ashanti, whoever you say. Bobby Brown, Cat Williams. And the most elusive interview I did that let me know, oh, you're not the illest, is Cat Williams. And Cat Williams was saying some shit that I was just like, he had my head spinning. I'm not going to lie. When I ended that interview, I knew I was outclassed. I knew the man was too nice at what he's doing. And if you're trying to get an answer out of him, good luck. Because he knows how to spin shit like nobody else. So, 2024. I just want to be happy. I'm throwing up happy shit, this, this, that. Everybody's happy for like three days. And Cat Williams comes out and busts his hammer. Legendary. Now, what does that mean? For me, I loved it. Why, Joe? Why did you love it? Because it's hip-hop. And hip-hop, we diss each other all the time. And so every single day, you know, just last month, I had the guy from Lean With It, Rock With It, uh snoring his lip like he was going to smack me or something. He's just, this normal shit in hip hop. And so the fact that Haivi Rivera, and because the fact that he does what we do every day in hip hop, um, comedians are so, but comedians are the guys we look to to laugh. Comedians are the guys that we want them to talk about anything. Fucking Dave Chappelle gets up there and talk about the craziest shit. I love it. All of them, right? And Cat, Cat, Cat Williams happens to be one of my favorite comedians of all time. Yeah. He happens to be one of my favorite uh, comedians of all time. And so he went out there, he splashed everybody. You know, Tiffany Addish, I went to her show just to see the beef. I want, I, I, you know, I'm the algorithm. Okay, guys, you guys made me because you tune in to me whenever I turn on this shit. You are the guys that made me, but you're not wrong because every time I come on here, we're viral. We are the algorithm. And so Cat Williams, the next day, Tiffany Addis, she invites me to a show. It's in the middle of the shit. She goes in there. She splashes him a little something. Uh, I think almost in a too much respectful way. You know what I mean? I want the bullshit. So I go up in there. I try to hype her up. Like, yo, Tiffany, you got to go crazy. Cat Williams gave you a actually, not her, but he actually sparked life into the comedy field. Not just for him going on his tour, but he got everybody popping. And so Cedric the Entertainer, when's the last time you want to hear if he wanted to fight a one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, Steve Harvey. You know, Steve Harvey is who I aspire to be. He's at a level of affluency and excellence where I want to be. But every now and then, Steve needs to know he can be touched by the streets. So everybody, he picks everybody apart. Like this, but that's hip hop. How many times Tony Yayo went on there and did five hours on fucking drink chance? I did two and a half hours on fucking math hopper talking shit. And so the, the 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 comedians, you would think guys that talk shit all the time and make fun of everything. Oh, oh, we're in the up. No, bro, you gotta take the good with the bad. Stephen A. Smith is trying to pull a Cat Williams. Yeah, yo, Cat Williams fucked the game up. You know, you go with Shannon Sharp. That's the key right there, guys. He did it with Shannon Sharp. And so for years, Stephen A. Smith has been the king of sports talk. Who's my brother? Stephen A. Smith, I fuck with for real, in real life. Not for fake life, but he's been the king. 
And he's been in the lane by himself. And everybody loves him, but Sh Shannon Shaw, you know, he <laughs> he threw up a huh, a unicorn. He threw up a Kanye West at Dream Champs. Motherfucking 40 mil, 50 million. That changes the game. And Stephen A said, yo, fuck that. I know how to blast niggas too. He went up in there and started smashing dudes. Hey, I'm all for it. I'm like this. Oh, I want the tea. I want the tea. Izzy Sanchez, living legend. Mark Strange, Ro Paris, what's up? Oh, no, he went at J Jason Wilcock neck. But, you know, Cat Williams started that whole shit. He woke everybody up. He said, you're dancing too much. Everybody's kumbaya. It's 2024. Fat Joe's out here. He forgot he's Fat Joe from the projects. He's smiling, playing um, all night long. He said, fuck that. I'm splashing everybody. And guess what? Stephen A said, oh, no. Salam alaikum, my brother Fazil over there in uh, Saudi Arabia. Peace, my brother. Peace be on to you, beloved. And so, this shit crazy. Cat, Cat, we can't get enough of Cat Williams. And so now to justify, Cat Williams is so big right now. To justify your cool, you have to pick up a clip. Something, I threw up a clip where he was calling Richard Pryor all type of crazy shit. But then later people said Richard Pryor wrote that in his book. But he's calling shit. Richard Pryor is the blueprint. Richard Pryor is the greatest ever. He was talking some shit. I didn't get it. But I had to throw it up there. Why? Because I needed the authenticity. I needed to prove to y'all that I was years ahead of this interview. And I had Cat on here, and he was been talking crazy shit. And so, uh, 